Hello and welcome to my channel. This is Ali from Hypno You and if you would like a private reading, please go to www.hypnoyouali.com. These are general readings for all the signs and this is your reading for the 3rd of July 2016. Now, Gemini Stallion will go until the 20th of July and then it goes into a Cancer Stallion. So the Gemini Stallion is about uh, relationships and about giving and take and about both sides of the coin. How you beha behave in one way and the other side of you that behaves in a completely different way and to um, make those relationships work in your favour. So in July, July the 3rd, we're starting with the Gemini Stallium and that will work uh, for you as a tone for the month. Now your Angel Doreen Virtues card is Archangel Michael. So he's giving you, uh, he's the head of the deck and he is giving you the strength and the courage to make life decisions, life changes, to get you on the right path for you. He says, I'm with you, giving you the courage to make life changes that will help you work on your divine life purpose. So he's going to be around for the week of July the 3rd to help you in any changes that you need extra strength, courage or resources, um, support to get through this week. Uh, for your work, we've got the Knight of Pentacles, which is a uh, Virgo, Capricorn, and Taurus. Now this is, um, I'm getting the feeling that someone will rush to the rescue and help you out, giving you uh, practical help or money to finish the job, uh, a spurt of cash, um, or that you may be the one doing that for somebody else. Now the Knight of Pentacles is someone who has already had some sort of battle, who is uh, covered in his armor and he's going in um, for the next uh, war or the next uh, chapter. Now he's taking his time out this night. He's learnt, the knights have already learnt some wisdom and experience from previous battles and he's now putting that into action. So the Knight of Pentacles is asking you uh, for your work sense to put more research in before you, um, so he's, he's sitting on the horse uh, and he's taking a break. So before he goes into action, they're asking you to research um, to check uh, the details, to check that you've got the money, to check that you've got the support, to check that you've got the help available for you this week. Uh, also, there may be um, travel, so you're taking uh, the time to prepare for your travel. Uh, it's about uh, protecting yourself, so with insurances, uh, making sure that you've got uh, things covered at home if you have to leave, or things covered at work if you have to go on holiday. But whatever it is for you, uh, your um, getting the things in the structures in place, full insurance uh, to cover your back. Um, this is also if you think uh, your job is any sort of um, trouble or if there's been rumblings that the work is laying off people, your job is secure so that's okay. Now getting back to um, this uh, knight in shining armor. So this is either you or somebody else who uh, is a Capricorn Taurus or a Virgo or yourself, sun, moon or rising, who will come in and give you uh, the help with their hands uh, or giving you uh, money um, or giving you uh, a, a talk on ethics or values, whatever is valuable to you, but making that offer to you. This is also about um, stopping before you, you move on. So there's land in front and this land is unknown. It's foreign territory. So it could be foreign department, foreign people, online, uh, or even shifting um, uh, states, you know, countries, whatever. So there is a, a, a preparation before you're going into that. Now with our home, we do have the full card and that is a major arcana card. This is a zero. This is um, a major time, person, experience uh, or event that's happening in your life um, that it, it's going to change the outcome of, you know, crossword situations, um, uh, milestones, those kinds of things. Now the full is asking you uh, first and foremost to have that spontaneity, to have that innocence, to get back to grassroots of what what do you find enjoyable? What makes you happy? What makes you smile? Where is that naivety and that joyous, that innocence inside of you to go on that adventure, to take the chance, to um, put your hand up? You know, the spontaneous things. And it's also got dumb 
some luck. So you may win a trip uh, for some of you uh, because this is about travel and it's also about luck. Uh, also, while you're on your travels, you could um, get some dumb luck or be in the right place at the right time. This is also about expectations as well. So you are um, going on your travels with great expectations on, you know, expansion. You know, we've got the Sagittarius uh, Saturn uh, Grand Cross in June, which asked you to expand your way of thinking, to expand how you work, to expand how you relation. So at home, um, you have made uh, some changes, and while you're on uh, your new adventure, that you have expectations. Uh, maybe your expectations are higher. Maybe you've set the bar of your expectations. But if for some of you, this is expecting, and that's a brand new adventure for you. So expecting a child. Uh, w with your health, there are um, signs that for some of you are going to be finding out you're pregnant or about to give birth. So that is a brand new role for you. The fool is also saying to you that you are... Um, in an adventurous move, so you might be moving home, you might be moving offices, um, moving in with someone, but it's about packing a, a small bag, uh, what you've got on your shoulders, uh, and uh, going with the wind, and dumb luck blowing you to where you need to be, and the people that you need to, there to help you will just be there. With our health, we have the Queen of Wands. Um, so this for your health is, um, first and foremost, getting positive res results, rulings going in your favor. Um, she, This is a passions card, so this is uh, Leo, uh, first and foremost, Aries or Sagittarius. Uh, there is the sunflower, though, so for some of you, this is uh, about birth. Uh, this is about um, finding out you're pregnant, uh, starting the IVF circle, uh, cycle, or about um, giving birth right now. There is a black cat on this, so you might think that you've run out of options with your health, uh, but this card is letting you know that there is a second chance. Uh, also to do with um, this card is the element of freedom. So you might find that the results come back and you no longer have to take uh, pills. Uh, you're free from that uh, illness, or there's an element of uh, freedom coming from these positive results and rulings going in your favor. Uh, also there's... Um, there is travel around this card as well, so it might be that you use some alternative me medicine that you found in your travels, or something you got online from another country, or that you've traveled somewhere to get this health advice. Now, with our love, we have the Eight of Cups. Now, this is a positive card um, for singles. This is about putting that past behind you, that emotional past, um, and you know, letting it go, and then going on your travels. This card is travel too, so um, there is definitely travel involved for a lot of you, whether it's some um, short distance travel, um, a, a lot of you know courier drivers or people that travel a lot, taxi drivers, or all that you, um, for whatever reason, this week has got a lot of travel in it. For couples, this is about milestones. Uh, now there is a Capricorn moon, uh, moon around this, a flavor, uh, but this is water sign Pisces, Scorpio, Cancer. The Cancer is ruled by the moon uh, and cycles of the moon and cycles in us. So it could be that you've reached a cycle uh, and now you're going on to another level. Now this is eight, which is mortgages, deaths, um, marriages, uh, insurance, uh, other people's money, other people's resources, support you get from other people. So in a relationship, this is your uh, getting that support from your partner, you're getting those resources from your partner. And that as a couple, you're moving on into positive uh, grounds, which may be foreign territory for you because maybe your past has been different, or maybe this is a brand new movement forward that you and this partner have not had before. So thank you for subscribing. I do appreciate all your likes, shares, and subscribes. I want to say thank you so much for consistently showing up. I could not do this without you. This is my purpose. This is my joy. This is my love. So lots of hugs and kisses for you for this week. Mwah.